Hey everyone, how you doing? I was talking to my nephew this morning and he was talking about a vote that took place in the House of Commons here in Canada, Ottawa, Canada. And the bill that was put forward had to do with the assisted suicide when people wanted to out themselves because of illness, cancer, debilitating physical illness, and they didn't want to go right to the end and suffer. So there, we put a bill back maybe 10 years ago or five years ago, whatever it was, that that was legal here in Canada, right across the board, assisted suicide. And I sort of agree with assisted suicide. If you have cancer and you're suffering like crazy, why not out yourself? Why not? Why go through all the pain and suffering? But recently, in the last couple of years, they want to broaden the scope of it. And what they want to include if people with mental health issues, such as depression, anxiety, whatever it was, your mental health issues, you could ask your doctor to out yourself under the new scope that they put forward, the Liberal government in the new assisted suicide laws of Canada. Also one that really got me was if you're a chronic alcoholic and you're suffering from alcoholism, you too could out yourself with a doctor's office near you. And if you're an addictive person on drugs, fentanyl, whatever it is, you too have that golden option to go up to your doctor and say, give me a lot of drugs and out myself because I can't stand my life. I don't know where the federal government, both of them parties, the conservatives and the liberals are getting off on making laws that attack our vulnerable of our society. I understand that the problem of addiction and alcoholism and mental illness is getting out of hand, but really, you want to broaden the scope of people who are in a vulnerable situation already that make decisions based on their situation to out themselves? Or is it you want to ask the doctors to make that decision? Or you want to make some advocate group to make that decision on the person, on behalf of the person? I don't understand. I am a recovering alcoholic, drug addict, and in my lowest days, if you think I can make a, a, a decision that enormous to out myself and be 100% sure, I tell you guys, you guys got raw, you're on drugs yourself. You're on drugs yourself. So I just tell all the, the politicians out there that voted for that, because believe it or not, it was only voted down by seven members. The next time your alcoholic son or your alcoholic wife or family member or the one who has depression so bad that they can't get out of the bed or anxiety so bad that they can't leave the house, maybe we could start with them and put them forward for this new bill, just to, you know, like a dry run, just to see how it goes, you know? Because you have no problem on telling us that we need to out ourselves, our most vulnerable people in our society? Really? I can't believe what that bill was even thought of. And that was your liberal government hard at work to attack you in your house you on the street you know what are they going to do start down going to Rito center and picking them up with the happy van and with the white coats and get out there and drag them all off and bring them to the assisted suicide doctor who gets a you know what a thousand dollars a pop i could go on and on but i am outraged that even such a bill in our country was even thought of thank you mr trudel thank you very much and it's a disgrace it's a disgrace for all governments and everybody who put up their hand and said that Leave us alone, Mr. Trudeau. Leave us alone, the Conservative government. Us alcoholics and drug addicts, we can make up our minds for ourselves and we don't need you pushing us around, okay? So that's it. You like what I said? You didn't like what I said. That's okay with me. But hands off to our disability community, hands off from our addiction and, and alcohol addiction and drug addiction people. They have a mental illness, they have a physical illness, throw some more money into it, throw some more money into housing, throw some more money into treatment centers, include, include, uh, include psychiatrists, physio, uh, psychotherapists, therapists of all, of all levels into the OHIP and start sponsoring these people to help these people individual individually out start helping them i know i'm talking too much here that's my beef man i can't believe this this world we live in sometimes it just baffles me it really does okay thanks a lot see you later ciao